Oh my, let it shine, let it shine, shine. What's going on, guys? Excuse my ridiculous singing voice. Just pulled in right back from the gym. We're gonna be diving into exactly how I color graded this footage right here in a previous project I worked on. Shot on a Sony A7S III and S-Log3. We're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro X and I'm gonna show you exactly my process on how I color grade my footage. My name is Tim. I am a filmmaker and YouTuber here from San Diego, California. And guys, smash that subscribe button for your boy. All right, let's jump in the video. First thing, I'm going to come up here and just show you the footage that I'm going to kind of color grade. Um, I pulled some shots from this this footage here that are from you know more sunset hour, and then another few shots I'm going to show you how I color graded in more in the direct daylight, like you know 12 or 1 p.m. I wanted to show you this little trick that I found that makes color grading a lot easier, right? Um, you come down here to your window into your workspaces you're actually gonna be able to get into this color and effects panel, which is a lot easier to use. So what I do is I come in here and here you have your Luma, your RGB overlay, and then your waveform. I'll come to this little icon here and change this to RGB overlay here. This way you can kind of get your skin tones and color correction correct with your highlights. Great. All right guys, let's start with these first two clips here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go in and remove all I'm going to remove attributes and pull off the color wheels and MLUT. Okay, so here's that clip in S-Log3, straight right out of the camera. Here's that clip, color graded. So, let's come in here. First thing I'm going to do is come to your, typically be on this page to start, come into your color grading color here. I like to use the color wheels. Come into your color wheels. And the first thing off the bat I'm going to do is I'm going to check on the shadows, right? So let's pull these shadows down here with this tab. And you want them to be right above the zero. So it can kind of come down a little bit. You might have to edit this a little bit as you adjust the other panels. But yeah, I typically like to have the main shadows sitting right at zero. Next thing I'm going to do is come into my highlights. I'm going to grab those and pull those all the way up. So typically... You don't want to go over 100, but you can see how it's kind of more, more the thick of it right here. So you can kind of leave that somewhere along those lines in this area. Now I'm going to come to my midtones. Midtones, I'm going to pull these down. I typically like to use a more like darker, moodier look to my footage. So I'll usually make the midtones a little bit lower. That's kind of like a nice little, little feel for me there. Then you can kind of come back in and adjust your highlights depending. So yeah, I think we had it in a pretty decent spot. I like that sunlight kind of shining through harshly. Pull those down a little bit more. Right around there. Next thing I'll do is come into my, my saturation here. So I'll come to the global side. I'll bring this up. Bring this up somewhere in this area not too much not too little and then all I'll do is come into the highlights and this is where you can really play with the color the color grade here so let's get it back to how it was this is kind of nice there I think it could live a little bit on more of the blue side and the way you can see what's, what's happening here is in the RGB overlay so you'll find your white section and once it's all layered red, blue, green, whatever is layered under that white section, that's where you're going to want to hang out. So I kind of like this orangey look, so I'm only going to do a little bit of blue. That's something, maybe a little bit more saturation. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here to my MLUT. I will drag that on, come back to my editor. So I'll go ahead and apply my LUT now, so I can come here to where I apply my MLUT. I'll come in. I have tons of creative assets. I use a LUT pack from Sam Newton called the Gamut Immersion Pack. Um, so I'll go ahead and apply that here. And now I can kind of bring it down a little bit because that seems a little harsh like that, right? Bring it down a little bit somewhere in this vicinity, let's say 45%. And now what I'll do is one final check. And I'll come back to all of my things here. Maybe move my Shadows up a hair, mid-tones, mid-tones can stay in this area. 
saturation maybe up a tiny bit highlights seem to be perfect right around here and let's just play with this blue a little bit before we jump a little orange okay so that blue right there the blue highlights perfect okay now let's just control R Control R and render this clip, and now let's look back. Loading, loading, loading. In this meantime, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button. That's gonna go a long way for Timbo. Tap it. All right, here we go. We're rendered. Let's take a look at this footage. A little darker in the beginning, but when those sunlight, when those sun rays kind of shine through, gives it a really nice cinematic look there. Mm. Let's do this drone shot because I just gave you an in-tight shot. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and remove attributes. So we can remove everything. So there it is, fully raw out of my drone. First thing I'm doing, coming into my color wheels. Let's pull these shadows down. Whoa, that's gonna change the whole look of this. Let's pull these highlights up. A little too much there, and somewhere around there. Mid-tones. Boom. Now we can pull our saturation up. So that's kind of a crazy look. So let's pull that down a little bit. Now I'm gonna apply my LUT. Apply my LUT here. Just gonna give it that nice cinematic look. I'll come back to my Highlights, let's play with this color a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more orangey, I think, for this shot. Yeah, somewhere over there. Bring that saturation down a tad bit. It's a little hard. Somewhere there. Okay. Mid-tones down a hair. Bring the highlights up just a tiny bit. And all right, there we are. Look at this. Love, love, love how dark these mountains are. This whole field is kind of brightened up. I think what I did before when the other clip was I zoomed in here. And just got this top angle. So it focuses on the rider and this crazy misty mountain sunshine and sunset coming in. Very cool. All right, guys, and let's do one last here. This clip is very, very direct sunlight. Let's remove these attributes. Keep the... Okay. Let's remove this color. So look how raw that is. The first thing we do, you know, come to your color wheels, play with these shadows. Let's bring them down somewhere around there. Let's bring the highlights up. Yeah, it might be too bright with this, with this direct sunlight. So let's leave that there. And then boom, a little bit of saturation. Mid-tones can come down a bit. Let's apply that LUT. Running out of time on my recording. Apply this LUT. You can come back in here. Let me lift that up a little bit. Lift that up a little bit. There we go, guys. Cinematic look right here. Nice blue in the sky. Driver's clear. Straight middle of the day. I think we shot this at like 1 p.m. or 12 p.m. Um, but yeah, this adds a completely different look to the shot. And I was able to kind of just, you know, center him in the middle and, and get a really nice looking shot out of it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed kind of diving into my process when I come when it comes to color grading for me. Um, you know, people do their color grading all different types of ways. I know people that color grade on DaVinci Resolve. They'll edit in Final Cut and then they'll export color grade in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I found a process that works for me here in Final Cut and I've been loving it. So if you have any other suggestions or tips or something you would like to comment down below, let me know how you color grade. And if you made it to the very end of this video, comment, Tim sucks at singing because it's the truth. But you know, we're having fun. We just got back from the gym. Energy is high. We got in there. We had a good time. I'm Tim. I am a filmmaker and YouTuber here from San Diego. I think to Costa Rica on Tuesday. Guys, I'm gonna be bringing you along with me the whole trip, and I plan to make a cinematic travel film for you guys, you know, based on, you know, what goes on, surfing, hopefully some moto rides. If you wanna support the channel, please go ahead and like down below, 
smash that subscribe button. See you in the next one.